For my design foundations project, I did a story about Flathead Lake Lodge, which is a lodge in Montana, right on Flathead Lake, and it's absolutely gorgeous. My first panel, I did fireworks, which um, I mainly focused on shapes because every summer my cousin and I, we would look at the fireworks up in the sky and it'd be absolutely beautiful and just so festive too. So I incorporated a lot of kind of flashier colors too, like gold and silver and a little bit of red to give it more of a 4th of July theme. And I also incorporated some hearts and some spades because we always used to play cards by the bonfire. Northern Star and the firework too, because the Northern Star would always be above the peaks as we just watched the constellations and shooting stars go by. Um, and so definitely for this panel, it was supposed to be very festive and very fun. And I used a lot of radial symmetry for the fireworks because it was also really interesting um, trying to trace out the different kind of shapes and um, seeing kind of like which firework would uh, be closer and which one would be more in the background. So for instance, this spade is like um, kind of jutting out because this one is actually farther behind, but it's just a bigger firework. So it was really fun um, playing with the different positions of the shapes and everything. And then this one was supposed to be a lot more flowy and it was definitely um, a very fun panel, a lot of paint. So that was a good time. And for the value panel, I did the barn dance that happens every Thursday. And this is supposed to be my boot when I was younger and this is supposed to be my mom's boot. I used primary color red and primary blue because they're a little bit, they're not complete complements, but they're kind of opposite. And my mom's favorite color is blue and mine is red. So I thought it'd be kind of cute. Um, and so basically what I really try to focus on is definitely kind of like the boot shape and like the boot like I I wanted it to be a bit more frayed around the sides so I didn't really um really clean it up because I kind of wanted it that way kind of showing movement too and I used a lot of the different values I used primary red I used a very very darkish red too kind of like just to blend in and um make a really fun design too and I also used red in the, I tried to make the Montana mountains, and this is supposed to be kind of like the silhouette and then like the lake, which was um, a really interesting design um, to recreate. And then kind of just like around here, kind of like almost like kind of like bandana-ish, a little bit just like a, just a fun little design. Um, and so it was really fun like working with burgundy and pink and red and just seeing like all the values and then kind of making it a bit more frayed, like not really trying to make it just like one color. Um, definitely like putting a little bit of black in here, kind of making it look a little scuffed up because it's like, it's rustic. It's kind of like a barn dance theme. Um, and then I have right here is supposed to be kind of movement and I kind of wanted to make them in the shape of like hearts because it's kind of mother-daughter, like almost like a mother-daughter dance. And so I used gray and black and white and just all these different types of colors um, with the gouache, goulash paint. I think I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. But no, it was really interesting too because I, I really want to use silver um, and I kind of tied all of my panels together with silver, but I wanted the silver on the boot to kind of connect the two boots, even though they kind of have similar designs. I want them to be a little bit different, but I thought that was kind of fun, like um, especially you're kind of just like you're making like a lot of like noise when um, your foot taps the, the wooden ground, so, and just like square dancing and everything, so it's kind of fun, like the silver kind of brings out more of the festive side, just like the fireworks, but kind of in a different way, um, just a lot of movement. And for my next panel, I did my water lines, was really fun too, because I'd use my, the bristle of my brush and turn it 180 degrees, and it would almost like, it'd make these very calming lines, um, like this kind of effect and then kind of like these squiggly lines like kind of like funfetti almost um so it kind of gave it a lot more of a rhythmic appeal especially with like the music notes coming out from under the ski because it's just it is a, a really beautiful sport 
and in the the top half of my my design I used um, silver to tie in with the the fireworks and the boots because it's all about movement and especially for this um this lodge it's all about fun and festivity so these rocks are um kind of just supposed to be like very loose and almost it was kind of fun like playing with like little circles and little swirls um and they kind of like they were very similar to these swirls like almost like almost like snail shells um but I would use these rocks because like everything everything there is very very vibrant in color so I would have these big rocks and then I would um kind of decorate them with the I wanted it to be kind of light and more not as noticeable because I wanted the the ski to be the main attraction in the water but there's also little tiny pebbles underneath the rocks because Flathead has a beautiful pebble beach um that's just so colorful so it's kind of like taking off from land and going into the the water it's a little chaotic but really fun and um exciting the last panel and is the color panel and it is about a horse named wesley actually in the the flathead lake pasture um and this lodge has so many beautiful horses just looking out you you're driving your car and you just see these amazing majestic beings almost and they all have really fun names so this horse is Wesley and Wesley is basically kind of just grazing out in the pasture running around um, near the aspen trees and so basically what I did for this horse is I really wanted to focus a lot on movement so with his mane I kind of wanted it to be like almost like sagebrush or like a wildfire I really focus on like primary color like red for him to really attract the the eye to him like the the warmer colors and then kind of having like the cooler colors on the background but he also I wanted him to have a lot of movement in him kind of like wild and untamed um and so I really really got very free with this one and I think it's kind of perfect because horses are supposed to be free they're supposed to um, be out on the range and graze anywhere they want to go and just live the best life that they can and the beauty of nature and the beauty of the aspen trees and beauty of the moonlight which I try to do um, with this silver kind of like guiding your eye a little bit and um, it's supposed to contrast the gold and Wesley so that was kind of fun using um, different kind of contrast like that metallically and then I used a primary red and just primary green to complement each other um, I use a lot more green in the background and then red and Wesley and I also used um, some periwinkle and some um, some tan so I really worked with um, a lot of tertiary colors um, the one primary colors complements that I used were red and green and I also used like a little bit of violet and kind of goldish color but that was really fun because he's just supposed to be the main subject he's supposed to be this chaotic stallion which was really fun to make because I think I think I did a really good job about just having him be very have a lot of movement in him there's a lot of um it's very abstract too, but I kind of wanted to see him like even just it's his, his face but it's obvious that he's running around and he's he's free and untamed and kind of chaotically beautiful like it, it it makes sense and once you put everything together um what he is and I think it's it's really really fun because all these horses are so beautiful but they they are very fast and they're kind of hard to capture in a photograph so um, it's just very, very interesting, especially just trying to capture the best es essence I could of just a, a beautiful horse. Overview um, of my design foundations project, and I really like how it turned out, especially just really trying to encapture this rustic feel, this kind of energy, this movement, especially since all of them are tied together in silver, and there's also all of them have these squiggly lines that really kind of create this kind of rhythm and this kind of like fun energy that I really wanted to convey because the place 
that I'm working at is just very festive and very fun loving. Um, and so that's kind of what I really wanted to make with this project. And I, I really, I really enjoyed it definitely. Um, especially just kind of like reusing colors too, kind of seeing like all the colors in the sky and then you can see the colors in the pasture and the colors at the lake with the pebbles that are so vibrant and even just people dancing and people laughing and how you can really convey even sounds with um, the, the positioning and just kind of like the rhythmic like patterns that you use, especially just like kind of like with this, like it's supposed to be um, like square dancing and swing dancing and you're stopping your feet around, you're having a great time, you're listening to the guitar and it's just a wild, chaotically beautiful time. And that's what I wanted to portray in my Design Foundations final. Thank you for a great class and I will look forward to seeing you in the fall.